my name is Captain Jack. I'm here at the Cape Cod Festival. I'm here with Autumn Becomes Me, which is a YouTube thing, and I have no idea what that means, but it's on her t-shirt. So whatever you're doing, stop and come here or look at that thing on YouTube. Alright, so I just made an hour and a half drive away from Boston to come to West Yarmouth, or Yarmouth in this case, to attend the Pirate Festival. I would have had no idea this was happening today, except a viewer of mine, her name is Karen Faton, uh, mentioned to me that, hey, you know that there's this like Pirate Festival happening. And I had planned, because I just came back from a camping trip last weekend, and if you haven't seen the video for that, be sure to check it out, but I just come back from that. I literally put my tent away from drying out in my apartment yesterday. And so I was gonna stay at home, chill out, maybe cook a little, and she was like, Pirate Festival. And I'm like, you gotta film a Pirate Festival. So that's what brings me out here today. It's actually fairly close to where I was camping last weekend. Definitely has ocean vibes. There's a lot of seafood and swimsuit shops out here, and uh, overall looks very oceany. So I suppose this is an appropriate place to hold a Pirate Festival. So um, currently they're setting up, but as soon as they're ready, I will take you in and show you what it's like. So I'm here at Karen's Crowns. You might have remembered her from our Salem video. She was the one who invited me to this, so I would have not been here without her. So shout out to her. So behind me is PJS's trading company. It's one of the nicest tents I've seen here and they try to keep it period oriented. So they try to find things that match the time period in which they are attending. So the stuff behind me is just really beautiful and I'll take you to see it. everything but I love the Jacob's Ladder because it's a 2,000 year old toy. The Jacob's Ladder? Yeah. Okay. And yours? I think it's a stamp. If you write a letter to someone, the stamp would be able to have your own personality to it. Everything that we have in our store, we actually have bought for ourselves personally. Because of that, we, we like what we sell. I don't sell stuff I don't like. Speaking of which, you guys have an online store, right? We yes. do, yes. It has the online store. And if you don't see something, send us an email. Call us. You can actually reach us. <laughs> we get back to people. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I got a double smash burger and fries at the veteran's lunchbox over there. It's reasonably priced and I feel like the smash burgers are actually one of the best I've seen in a really long time at these fairs. So kudos to them. I also got one of these Bahama Mamas 
and it was eight dollars and honestly it was great because they took Venmo so if you come here don't feel like you have to take cash uh, they actually have an ATM here as well as a lot of these vendors taking Venmo or Square or things like that <laughs> Michael Scooter Madzik. This is our booth, uh, Goblin Works Leather Company. I started doing this because literally I was working and acting and doing things and I needed certain things that I couldn't afford. So I started building it and then a couple of friends were like, hey, can you make this for me? And then it was spraying and bring and now we have a whole book. I kind of have that maker gene, so I kind of, there's a, a zen to making all this stuff and I can kind of relax and if I don't make things for a while I get fidgety and stuff so what you get most excited about is when you see photos of people that you've never seen before wearing your stuff oh yeah do we want to give a shout out to the cat yes Umbi we miss you <laughs> she's home with my parents getting fat because my mother likes to give treats <laughs> I am Mermaid Jessie Jules. Nice to meet you. I've never met a real live mermaid. Well, now you have. <laughs> I love your tail. You seem to be a fan of blue. My tail changes colors with my mood. I am the title holder of Miss Mermaid Rhode Island 2023. Oh my gosh. My platform is working with Save the Bay Narragansett. We do beach cleanups seagrass replantings as well as sewer drainage marking and it's super important to help educate and advocate for the cause and get people out and excited about volunteering. I have a question for you. Yes. <laughs> How do mermaids wash their tails? I have no idea. Tide! <laughs> That's awesome. Have a good one. <laughs> Uh, my name is Captain Henry Martin. We're here at the Cape Cod Iron Festival. Captain, I'm always here with me. Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Ramon Cortez. Your colonizers, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everyone so I'm back home obviously and my voice is wrecked I had such a great time it was so much fun um, again if you're into the whole pirate vibe and you have an outfit and you want to try it out that is the place to go the vendors were so sweet and the food was amazingly good especially if you don't want to do the Ren fairs but you want to do something a little bit more small scale and kind of in the tropical summertime vibe that was an amazing place so thank you so much for watching if you like this episode please let me know in the comments below um, of course I'm gonna be linking all the people I did interviews with and all of that cool stuff in the description so be sure to check that out and if you want to see other things like this be sure to check out my New England Adventures playlist I believe I have the King Richard's Fair on there and the Salem one which is where I met Karen who was the one who advised me to go to this so I hope you had fun watching this and I will see you next weekend all right bye Thank you.